Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> hey, I got him two thirds down with no health, with no healing. I think that's pretty okay for the first time I've encountered this guy. He probably probably hit the hit the puberty lottery. It's better than not recognizing somebody because they were just like uh, like a bad change. You were flabbergasted. When I went uh, to my like fraternity's camping event, uh, which I hadn't seen some of those brothers in a couple of years, uh, one of the oh shoot. There go all my souls. I was expecting the elevator to be there. <laughs> yep, that sucks. That's uh, that sucks a lot. Can't really be affording to lose souls like that. Oh my god! So rude. I'm already doing great. That sucks that I, lo I died there. I probably lost a few thousand souls. That would be a couple of level ups right there alone. Your average lifespan is 14 minutes. Is that... Are you, are you just calculating how long I've been streaming to, uh... Against the number of deaths I've had? <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm almost out of Estes flasks. Just getting down here. not want to fight both of them at the same time. That's just asking for death. But I want to go and check that building there, because I get the feeling. How late am I streaming? I'm probably going to try and kill that boss, and then call it once I kill him. Oh, here they both are. And they can't hurt each other, because of course they can't. I'm probably going to kill that boss, and then end the stream. But, you know, killing the boss is, um, conditional on reaching it alive. <laughs> the time for me should be 3 p.m. It is, it's not 3 p.m. It is 11 p.m. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the, the owned count. Somebody redeemed it earlier too. Uh, if you've ever seen like Dragon Ball Z Abridged, there's the the Krillin owned count whenever something bad happens to him. Uh, the Krillin owned count goes up by one. So I added my own. So anytime I get wrecked, like... Like the game just disrespects me or something, that I use the, use the owned command to just be like, alright, Dan just got wrecked. God, these guys are just t teaching me like, uh, treating me like, uh, Caesar. How do you see the, the King of the Hill leaderboard? Use exclamation point K-O-T-H or exclamation point King of the Hill. Stop it. 
Living close to New York? Yes, I live in the state of New York. Yeah, you let Yeet get a single point, and then you took it from him. You're hecking rude. <laughs> <laughs> She's got so very little going for her. Alright. Those guys are dead. Let's go see if there's an actual bonfire in here, because that'll make my, f my run to the boss easier. Does the red-eye guy respawn? Yes, he does. Interesting information. Help me? Try dark. Visions of losing sanity? Oh no. Chance ahead. I'm seeing a lot of death here. This doesn't look like another uh, bonfire. Visions of tough enemy. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. Yeah. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothrian Castle. Nice to meet you. Allow me to speak frankly. Okay. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes, converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the High Wall, forge on through the Great Gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Okay. This farewell gift is for you. Is it a bonfire? It is the insignia of an old covenant. That's useless. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Okay, I got an achievement for discovering the way of the blue covenant. Unkindled one, go through the great gate, but beware. The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. Yeah, he's pretty vile. Try rolling. Okay. <laughs> Does any of you sleep with the window open all year long? No. Uh, I do open it when it gets... Uh, when it gets cooler, but not when it gets like winter time. Like if it's super hot, I don't because I don't want to let the the AC out. I don't want to let the cold air out. Uh, but then when it's like super cold, like unless I'm super hot before bed, I will shut it. But sometimes I'll crack it. All right, time to go die to the watchdog of the Boreal Valley once more. Don't mind me, guys. We do use the AC. It is a, it is a, it's, it's nice for us. It's, it makes things cozy. <laughs> All right, gotta kill this dude. Just stabbing his inner thighs. Okay, that attack is faster. Most of his attacks are pretty slow. I know that you're that in Europe AC is much harder. It's less common. But in the United States, we use air conditioning for like everything. Kitty kitty. No, this is this is a dog that I'm fighting. <laughs> Okay. It looks like after he does that roar, he might add a frost effect on himself. That'll make it harder for me to just like hug him. 
Let's see how hard it is for me to kind of just run to the arena. making sure the dude doesn't come for me. See ya. Alright, and another trick that I've picked up from my time playing the Dark Souls games is when you have elevators like this, you can uh, send the elevator up so that if you die again, you can uh, just uh, catch it again. Alright, if I go this way, I just go down here and then drop here and then just ran run past you guys I can get here with all of my assets intact big brain give me my pittance of my souls back please I do not want to fight you up against that gate Um, it does transfer, but you won't gain points while I'm not streaming. The points only accumulate while I'm while I'm online. Okay. Is that the roar that gives him this ice? I can't see anything. Ow. Ouch. All right, I need to pay attention. Almost got frozen to death there. I did worse that time. I will also warn you guys, if you redeem King of the Hill when I'm offline, uh, like it won't even register that you've taken the hill. So don't don't waste your points. See ya. Uh, because what what's happening to make that work? Oh. <laughs> I guess he didn't appreciate me uh, not f stopping to fight him. Because what's happening to make it work is my bot. My bot's not running all the time. I only turn on my bot when I'm going to stream. My bot sees somebody redeems it, and then it makes a call to Twitch saying, "Hey, change the name of this." Uh, change the name of this redemption to this new person's name. And then when it's time for it to award a point to somebody, it looks to see, it looks at the redemption and says, okay, this person has the redemption. They're the one that's going to get the point. But if my bot's not online, it won't see a person redeem it. Right in the face. I hope I can do it. I need to get it out from away from him. How long is it? I know, I'm also proud. I was just thinking about that. New goal to keep it under 20. How long is this game? I actually don't know. Jeez. I don't want to be in front of him when he's doing this. I've been frostbitten. Ah. 
Ah. Okay. I'm not, I have, I'm not like focusing and I know I'm not focusing. When he does the roar attack, he does like, he does the charging. And I think he does it every time. He, the roar precedes the charge. I might be just completely wrong in how I'm examining this. So he does the roar, he charges back and forth three times. At that point, I just need to focus on surviving. God. That was not an invitation for you to join as well. 32 hours for the main story, 96 for everything. That's a lot, that's a lot more content for everything. I mean, my, my goal when I play the Dark Souls games, I mentioned this at the beginning, is my goal is to fight every boss. I will, I will play this game and try to kill every boss in the game. So if that means I'm doing all the extra stuff, I'm doing all the extra stuff. All right, where is my soul? Right there. All right, pupper. It's time to fight. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Okay, this is where he starts doing the charge. He does it three times, and now he's doing the frost breath. Okay, now he's in like a phase two, and he just did another charge. Crap. Give me some breath. I'm not doing well. Okay. I'm clearly not observing because he's got, he's got a second phase and his moveset changes so dramatically between his first and his second. His first one, hugging him is the trick. The second one, every time I get close, oh, I get wrecked. Shit. Yeah, here we go again. Go again. <laughs> every time I get close on the second one, I just get shrecked. He's got lots of, like, charging attacks. <laughs> Somebody has to have faith, right? The good thing is that I'm incredibly stubborn and I'm just going to keep doing the same thing until he dies. <laughs> I'm not one to really give up. Ow. That's his only fast attack in the first phase, is the arm. Okay, now he's in phase two. He does three dashes. What other attacks does he have? He f oh, he does he follow the dashes up with the breath every time? Because he's done that the last three times. Trying to heal. Jeez. 
Okay. We're trying to learn. Okay, so he does that standing, like, slam attack. He's hit me with that a bunch of times. Ow, I tried dodging. Now we go behind him. Got him. Okay. The, the the breath attack is your big window to uh, to get him. Dusty. <laughs> ah yes, the bonfire. We needed that. <laughs> And the big old gate is open. How wonderful for me. <laughs> Seems familiar. Peer over the cliff and hold up the banner. Praise the fine work. Plunging attack required ahead. Lots of dead people. All right. I will raise the banner and that'll be the end of the first stream. Uh, there was another boss. The one with the corkscrew sword that I killed. Doesn't that count? He had a health bar. It's the second boss. Ah, the gargoyle. In the first game, these guys would take me to Anne Orlando. What kind of gargoyle is it? Our new fr uh, another friend. Because we have lots of friends. They're, they're gargoyles. They've taken me to the undead settlement. This is where my, my best friend that was in the, uh, the prison cell said that his the old lady was with the ring. Boop. Easy peasy. All right. Uh, actually... Foot of the high wall, tower on the wall. Ah, okay. I'm gonna go uh, level up and then we'll call it. Gotta use these souls before I inevitably lose them. Oh wow, 40,000 whole souls to my name. Incredible. Welcome home, speak thine. My heart's desire is to become stronger. I need dexterity up to 10. And then we're going to just buff strength. You can only buff strength once. Farewell, Ashen. Farewell. And then you. Uh, reinforce Estus Flask. Okay. And a lot Estus. I have gone from three Estus I don't want to, see that. to five Estus. My survivability has just increased greatly, I am sure. Okay. That will be it. Hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.